Hello and welcome to another edition of the Average Screencast. My name is Christian Förster and this week I want to show you a little trick using a blur to transition into and out of a title. You've probably seen this and while I would usually suggest After Effects for doing this kind of thing more easily, it can be done with Avid without too much of a hassle. So first of all, let me show you what I'm talking about. This is what we're going to do. Ta-da, my stupid title is blurring in and blurring out. So let's get back to square one. There's no title here. And uh, as you've probably seen, this was an animated title that I created in Marquee. And uh, creating a, an animated title in Marquee is actually pretty simple. And uh, there's a great tutorial on the Avid website. It takes a little time, uh, you know, I think it's, it's about an hour. But it's free and you should, should definitely check it out. So this is my uh, animated title. So let's just edit this into the timeline. As you can see, it is not real time. There's a little blue dot within the title. But uh, we don't really care about that kind of thing. Because uh, what we want to do now, of course, is apply a blur to the beginning and to the end of the title. To do this, we need to step into the title. And now you can see the title actually consists of an alpha mat and a graphic fill. This is the alpha mat and this is the fill. The fill is white, of course, and the alpha mat is also black and white. And what we need to do is apply the blur to the alpha mat. Unfortunately, the, the alpha track is locked here. So we can't actually apply anything to this track and we can actually unlock it. Even if I try to, it says I can't. Well, so we get to work around this. A title is nothing more than an alpha and a graphic fill combined with a mat key. So we don't actually need to use the title you know, effect for that, but we can use the mat key effect. So this is exactly what we are going to do. So let's just select the whole segments, both of them, graphic fill and alpha mat, and just copy them into the source window by hitting Alt or Option C. Then let's step out of our title effect and just edit the uh, copied stuff over it. See now we have got the two tracks, the alpha mat and the graphic fill and we can do whatever we want with it. So let's go to tools, effect palette, key and just drag and drop the mat key to the alpha mat. There we go, now we're back to where we were before. Only that it's real time now because the mat key is always real time. Um, now the problem of course is you can't easily change the title now. Usually if you edit a title you can just go into effect editor and reopen the title. Now that ability has been lost. So you'd have to manually uh, change the title from your bin by control clicking it on Windows or command clicking it on the Mac. Okay, now we've actually not won anything, right? It's still the same stupid title and it's just cutting in and cutting out as it was before. So now we need to apply the blur. To do this, we'll step into the mat key effect. And there's our some stupid title alpha mat. So go to Tools, Effect Palette, and I'll just use the blur effect from the image category. You can also use a Gaussian blur from the BCC blurs category, which takes longer to render, or you could do it with the 3D warp, which is real time. But most of the time the blur effect just looks nicer than the 3D warp. Okay, so there's our blur. Doesn't do anything right now. So let's go to Effect Editor and zoom out of the effect and draw a rectangle over the whole image. See there, now it is blurred <laughs> quite a lot. 
Now my title is eight seconds long and I'll make uh, the blur transition quite long, two seconds. So I'll add a keyframe at two seconds and at six seconds. So at the spo both of the center keyframes, I of course want no blur to be there. So let's just turn down the blur completely. And at the beginning and the last keyframe, I want quite some blur. Let's say 75. That is quite, quite some, some blur. <laughs> and I actually want the acceleration to be smooth. So just select all keyframes and put the acceleration to 100. See, there's the smooth curve. Okay. So now you have to render the whole thing. Takes some time. Now in this podcast, of course, where everything is super quick. <laughs> um, and now we can watch our nice little blur in and blur out. This looks quite nice, I think. So let's step out of our effect again. And you would think we might already be done, but we're not. As you can see, this is uh, not a satisfactory result. Something is wrong. There's some blurring going on, but the title is all off. The type really, you know, it kind of blurs something, but you can't really see what, and you know, why? What? What is this? Well, the alpha blurs, but the fill does not. So what it does, it shows the black edges around the stupid title. What we want is actually not to be black around some stupid title, but white. This can be very, very easily remedied. What we're going to do is simply put a white fill underneath our key signal. To create that white fill, we'll go to Tools, open the title tool and uh, the only the old title tool is totally sufficient for this and just draw a big white rectangle and make sure that it fills the whole screen really really everything okay now we have uh, an all white screen uh, so let's save this title And we can just cut it into video track two where our fill is. And while the title is a real time effect, we actually don't need this. All we need is the fill of our newly created title. So just remove the title effect and everything that remains is the white fill. So see, there's white, <laughs> nothing, nothing else, but it does the trick. Now the blurring is all white as it should be and the title is white too. Now you can see at the beginning the blur cuts in. So let's just fade our matte key in as well. And do not ever use quick transition for fading effects. <laughs> There's a, a nice uh, button called fade effect and I've actually mapped it to my keyboard so it's nowhere to be seen here but uh, let's quickly check it out here it should be under effects there it is it's called fade effect put that somewhere on your keyboard uh, I've got it on shift quick transition because I think that makes a lot of sense or you can put it somewhere somewhere here like like here or wherever and you can just push that button and say uh, fade up 25 frames looks good fade down 25 frames all right hit ok and it's done so now let's check out our final title and it looks quite nice if you look closely you can see some banding here but uh, with a quick animation, it doesn't look too bad. 
All right, thank you for watching this episode of the Avid Screencast. If you like, go ahead and subscribe to the podcast at avidscreencast.com or on iTunes, and also check out past episodes on the website. If you have any comments or suggestions, like future show topics or anything, just drop me a line at mail at avidscreencast.com or just comment on the website. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash avidscreencast, and on Facebook, facebook.com slash avidscreencast. And if you'd like to know what kinds of things I do every day, <laughs> check out editguy.de where you can see what I do daily in my job. Once again, thanks for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.